over to the rest of Africa. It's pretty exciting to be back with you on the program Crunch. Yeah, Crunch and Nigeria, Up in the Woods, the Triple F Show, the Fab Lane, Crunch Paparazzi. I could go on and on. Well, the Paparazzi for today, Munachi. M to the U to the N A C H I A B R. You know how it is. Okay, <laughs> Munachi is right here on the program Crunch. Popular demand. Of course, when are we going to have Muna? Too many questions about Muna. Muna is right here on set. She's with me on Crunch. Muna is a songwriter, a multi faceted hip hop artist. Of course, you all know. And of course, a beauty queen. Once, once a beauty queen, always a beauty queen. Muna, it's exciting. It feels so amazing to have you on the program Crunch. Thank nice you. to have you here, darling. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice mm -hmm. to have you on Crunch. Thank you. I like your outfit. Simple outfit. Okay. Nice black dress. And yeah. of course, beautiful. Yeah, I was feeling spiky today, so <laughs> I decided to put it on. Yeah. Hi Crunch, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now, how's it been like exploring different aspects of entertainment so far? It's been um, quite an adventure because everything I've done with uh, in terms of the entertainment industry is um, things that people thought I wouldn't be able to do, people thought I couldn't do. So it's my way of saying I'll show them, <laughs> basically. So. Um, that's what I'm doing. I am doing what I love. It's quite interesting. The adventure is real and um, We are working very hard We're doing what we love to do and as you go along, that's how you get success It's not about getting to a particular destination, but it's you know along the way. So I've been pretty okay happened to Muna in the short space of time? Why the silent? What's been happening to you? It wasn't so long. I was going through a phase, okay? Um, I went from a high to, you know what, let me just take a step back and look at what's going on around me. Because you need to do that at some point. You can't just keep going, going, going. If you keep going like that, you'll crash. And it's happening to a lot of people right now because they don't know. They didn't take time out to actually study the environment and study the music that they wanted to do. And the people that really love you and people that hate you, you need to know so you can actually make everything work to your favor. So that's what I did. I took a step back. I was going through a lot. I was quite depressed most of the time. And um, yeah, so I used that to work on my craft and work on everything that I wanted to do and how I wanted to portray myself now. So that's why I decided to keep quiet. <laughs> now, Mona, there's a single that's banging the airwaves, especially all radio stations have it on. Yeah. Tell us about the single you just released. Okay, the single I just released is called No Tomorrow. And um, it's a feel-good track. It's crazy, it's banging, it's hypnotic. And um, I love it. <laughs> so what inspired, what inspired the beats, what inspired the lyrics for the music? It's fun, basically. It's just about going to club and dancing like there's no tomorrow. That's what it is. So just dance and dance and forget your service. Okay. Now, there's this aspect of the Nigerian entertainment industry that most times looks controversial, but I wouldn't really say it's controversial. You've been in the industry for a while, so I'm sure you have your opinions on that. When it comes to artist management, what, what are the comments you would, you would want to make on that? Um, your management has a, a, a significant role to play in your career. If you are signed with, um, if you're signed with a body that is not quite good for the image you're trying to portray and they really don't know who you are or how to portray you in a light that would benefit you at the end of the day, it's a problem. You're going to suffer. How's it been? How's the acceptance from the public been? It's been good. Wow. It's been good and I thank God. I didn't get anybody dissing me or anything like that. It was like, wow, this is a different track. This is good. This is nice. I love it. In one way or the other, you'd say that the experiences you've had in life have actually contributed positively to your enhancement, right? Like I said, the experiences I got is what I'm using to run me now. I know what it takes to promote. I know what it takes to um, basically push myself from level A to level B, which is what I'm looking forward to. And my team is the most amazing team. Wow. So I, I think God sent them one by one <laughs> to me. Because I guess this is the time, I know, not guess, this is the time and um, we're killing it. Everybody is so eager to work and that's what I love. I love to work with people that believe and people that are hungry and I'm also hungry. 
So when we're all hungry, we're like success. We are like animals, you know, just give me that. So they're just taking all the success and uh, I love my team very much. Okay. Now, Mona, your friends, people who love you so much, I want to see the best of you. How do you get to relate to them? Um, I talk to my fans all the time. I'm on Twitter, Mona01. Follow me, I'll holler at you. <laughs> and I'm on Facebook, Mona Chi Abi. I am on, I'm on that kick thing, but I don't really know how to use it. I'm very old school like that. Wow. <laughs> okay. I know, I know. But yeah, I'm on it. Don't worry. I'll, okay. I'll get around okay, to so it. Okay, so you're on the kick thing as well. You're on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. You know, hey, email me, holla, whatever. I'll talk to you. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Now, Mona, looking at the industry, the entertainment industry, do you ever see yourself delving into Nollywood? I mean, yeah, if I get the right script. Why not? I'll do that. What is the way forward for artists in Nigeria? In your own perspective, what's the way forward? We have to realize that it's a business, it's nothing personal. So make sure you learn about the trade because you have to learn about the trade. And once you're once you know about the trade and know how to infiltrate the market, you will be able to overcome whatever turbulence that comes your way. Window seat tinted in my BMW. I'm pretty fast, I ain't saying none of you And I ever keep stepping in my blue sweat shoes Run my empire I'm talking W Moon breaking records, yes I shatter Hype pop sugar, sugar not water Two crazy things with the sugar not proper I'm a suck on the candy but my tongue things color Best believe this chick is not weller Don't even wanna drink a leg, call me Nortella Only it's a fine boy stops and high fellas I roll C, fit chick and rock fellas And I'm pretty sure there ain't nothing that you can tell us Either you can tell us, jealous, smell us Don't even tripping, now let me give you a little taste you can pop it in my mouth or you can pop it in my face. Hey, I'm looking at <laughs> Okay, Luna, looking at the industry, right? We have so many upcomers, like so many persons who are aspiring to be superstars, in court celebrities, and we already have people who are relatively new, although not very new, people who are made it, making it big in the industry as well. Now, your female artist, so many questions from Facebook and Twitter, everybody's asking, does she see anybody as a threat? For me? Yeah. No. I um coming up from way years years back, you know, there were obviously some people that people tried to put them in my faces like okay. they were a competition to me. Yeah. If you wanna live life to the fullest, you really don't have to look left and right. Because once you start to look left and right, you miss your way. Okay. So that's the thing. And um I don't look left and right anymore. <laughs> I just face forward and um, you can just yeah, yourself. I believe in myself. So you could be thinking that someone is a threat to you, but if you think, if you look at that person that you go into their mind, you're actually a threat to them. As an entertainer in Nigeria, what's been exciting. the most exciting time? Every, every, I won't even say exciting. I'll say it's been an adventure. Because okay. every year has its own problem. <laughs> every year has its own ups and downs, downs and yeah. good and bad, and you know, beautiful and ugly. Yeah. But it's been beautiful this year. I thank God. <laughs> okay. It's been beautiful and it keeps getting better. And I like that. Okay. I like the fact that um, things are changing for the better. I like the fact that it doesn't feel like I was gone so long. I like the fact that people see me in a new light. People love me. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm loving the acceptance. So okay. It's been good so far. Okay. Now, so far in entertainment, Mona, what has been the most challenging time out of time? It's never been so tough a challenge. Okay. My problem is I want to speak out all the time. I really want to give you a piece of my mind. But the problem is, will you understand? <laughs> you get Will you understand my mind when I try to let it out? It's a problem. So if you're not going to understand it, there's really no point me trying to say anything. So let me just do what I know how to do best, which is express myself through my music. So that's no beef, nothing whatsoever. No, no, I don't yeah, have you're no just being expressive, I guess. I express myself through my music. I don't call out anybody. I don't beef nobody. My name is Moabudu, and I'm on Crunch. I love Crunch. I'm beautiful, and I love Crunch. No, I love Crunch. Now, what did you decide to go into rap, and how were you able to make your kind of rap style acceptable by the people who listen to you? Rap made me stand out. It's something that's never been done. I mean, what can a beauty queen do that hasn't been done before? You never hear of a rapping yeah, <laughs> queen. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I guess that was a plus on my side because I already knew how to rap and I loved what I did. So I went into it. And um, I'm gaining massive airplay and all that. How did I do it? Um, I just worked hard, basically. And um, 
it's been fun. It's been amazing. Now, people were asking these questions. There were so many singles that were banging the air with some different artists yeah. who featured you mm -hmm. and then your own singles. Mm -hmm. It gained global acceptance. Yeah. It, there, there was this acceptability from the public, from the audience. How were you able to get to that? How was I able to get that? I kept working, basically. I kept working. Um, I listened to people before me. They said do a lot of collaborations because it gets you massive airplay and you get, you get accepted when you work with a lot of people. So that's what I did. I, after being a beauty queen, I went on to do like a lot of collaborations. A lot of people remember Lagos Party. Yeah, yeah, And everybody was yeah. like, oh, so you? Wow, yeah. okay, she can really rap. Which is good because at first they didn't know who it was, so they accepted. So when they knew it was me, they had no choice but to accept it. So um, that's it, really. So now I can bring out my own stuff and everybody's like, okay, it's Mona. Okay, Mona, we're still on the chat. It's nice to have you on IGZ once again. Remember, you're on the program Crunch. And I hope you're having a nice time out. Oh yeah, I'm crunching up. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm crunching up. Now, Mona, if, if, you, if you were to have an artist, let's say an upcoming artist who is not very popular in the spotlight, Mm -hmm. Who wants to feature with you? Like he wants to sing with you or do stuff with you. How how do you how do you relate with that? I don't have any problems being featured on anybody's track at all. As long as I'm feeling the track, I'll jump on it. That's not a problem. So you just need to find out how to send me your track. You can send your music to no conscience entertainment at gmail.com. Okay. Simple as that. No conscience entertainment. No conscience at gmail.com. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no questions no at gmail. No questions at gmail.com. Send okay. all the material. If you want me to feature on it, I'll listen to it, definitely. It always gets to me. I get all my emails, I answer them. And um, the ones I feel and love, I'll do them. As long as you promote them. I need to know your plans for the song as well. Okay. I don't really want to do no filler tracks. I don't yeah. do fillers. I don't do album tracks. If you're going to promote it, and I know it's a good track, I'll do it. Okay, beautiful. Now, there's this particular question I've been wanting to ask you, but I'm, 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 I'm trying to ignore it. I mean, the entire saga, no conscience. No conscience. Why, 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 why the music label, no conscience? If you really want to make it, you need no conscience. That's my company. No conscience. <laughs> yes. If you really want to make it, you need no conscience. Yes. And you're really sure about it? I'm sure. If you have a conscience, you won't do anything. Trust me. So, I started my own label, it's called No Conscience, and um, I would say that when I was signed to RMG before I started my own, and um, the experience I got from that to being signed to RMG is what I'm using to run my own company right now. Okay. So, no experience is lost, and um, I'm grateful for my opportunities and everything I have experienced so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. I am running myself, and you know what they say, um, if you want to get something done, 